Hello viewers and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, phenyl ketone urea. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. So this video is about uh, what is phenyl ketone urea. Uh, phenyl ketone urea is uh, more commonly or briefly known as uh, uh, PKU and uh, it is an inherited disorder and uh, uh, in this condition uh, the phenyl lalanine substance levels are increased in the blood urine and uh, this substance is a building block of uh, proteins are in amino acids, you know, and uh, uh, that is obtained through the diet, and uh, it is found in all proteins and uh, in some artificial sweeteners, you know. Now, if uh, the phenyl ketone urea is uh, not treated, uh, phenyl alanine can build up to harmful uh, levels in the body, you know, and it can cause uh, the intellectual disability and other serious health issues. Uh, the second question is how common is uh, phenyl ketone urea? Well, the occurrence uh, varies among the ethnic groups and uh, uh, geographic regions in the world, you know. And uh, in the United States, uh, it occurs in one uh, in between 10,000 to 15,000 uh, newborn. And most cases of uh, this condition are detected shortly after the birth of the newborn, you know, uh, by screening and uh, uh, treatment is started promptly or immediately. You know. So as a result, uh, the severe signs and the symptoms of the classic KBU are rarely seen, you know. Uh, the next question is what uh, genes are related uh, uh, to the phenyl ketone urea, you know. Well, PH gene provides the instructions for making an enzyme called phenyl uh, hydroxylase, you know. And this enzyme converts the amino acid uh, phenylalanine into other important compounds in the body, you know, and if the gene mutations reduce the activity of uh, phenylalanine hydroxylase, you know, uh, in that case, phenylalanine from uh, the diet is not processed effectively. So, as a result, the myelin can build up into the toxic levels in the body, you know, and other uh, issues, you know, to show you. And uh, because the nerve cells in the brain are particularly sensitive to the phenylalanine levels and excessive amounts of this substance can cause the brain damage. You know. Now the classic uh, phenyl ket uh, ketone uh, urea uh, is the most severe form of the disorder and it occurs when uh, phenyl and lead hydroxylase activity is severely reduced or absent, you know. And uh, the people with untreated classic KPU, sorry, PKU, uh, have the levels of uh, phenyl lead high enough to cause uh, severe brain damage, you know and other serious medical problems. But the mutations in the pH gene that uh, uh, allow the enzyme to retain some activity result in milder versions of the condition, you know, and uh, such as the variant PKU and the non-PKU uh, uh, anemia, you know. And the changes uh, in other genes may influence the severity of uh, this condition and uh, but little is known about these additional genetic factors you know now this condition is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern so what i mean is that the both copies of the gene in each of the cell have the mutations you know and the parents of an individual with an autosomal recessive condition each carry one copy of the mutated gene and, uh, but uh, they typically do not show signs and symptoms of the condition, you know. And uh, there are many other names which are used for this condition like uh, falling disease or falling disease, you know, or pH deficiency or deficiency disease like phenylalanine hydroxylase, you know, or phenylalanine hydroxylase deficiency disease, PKU, or uh, there are so many other names, you know, which are used for this condition. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease and medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesanddeepen.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos. Keep watching. Goodbye.